I don't know if he likes us being this close. <laughs> So, what part of the park is this? This is the marina. Oh. And they have this nice swing looking out at this beautiful view. Yeah, and they have snacks and restrooms here in the building behind her. There's a restaurant ice cream shop in there too. Oh, I'll have to check that out. It's a beautiful day. A little nippy today, 56 I think it is, 56 degrees, but um, we like the cooler weather, so we welcome it. What a view. It is a nice view. Now on a day like today, that might be a better place to be sitting out in the sun. Yes. You might not pick that in the summertime. <laughs> These are nice little chairs. Yeah. Definitely older. <laughs> they stood the test of time. That's what a right. view. They're pretty comfy. They look pretty relaxed there. Yeah. It's beautiful out here. Here you can see the boat ramp here and the dock. Nice wide ramp. I think you can launch two at a time there. So this is in Tim's Ford Lake Park. It's down, it's down toward the end of the road. I think it is at the end of the road of the park. <laughs> I could stay here and just watch the water. I see, but we can't do any work from there. <laughs> so you're saying I have to get up? Well, you can relax a little bit. You got some time here. I didn't see that in the brochure. <laughs> Did you want to go kayaking? Um, not today. <laughs> <laughs> a little too chilly? Well, I'd rather do it at a, when we plan to do it. Let's see what's in this little boat shop here. Oh. Ah. Yeah. See what they got on the menu. Oh. Let me know if I can do something for you, okay? Yes, sir. They got a flavor of ice cream over there that sounds better than Moose Tracks. Oh no, what is it? It's the Jolted Cow. The Jolted Cow? Yeah. Caramel and fudgy <laughs> brownies swirled in a sweet cream flavored ice cream kissed with espresso. Oh my, that does sound good, doesn't it? Here are some of the cabins they have for rental at Tim Ford's Park. It's pretty nice right on the water. If you can see in the back, some of these get a nice little water view. And there's a bike trail that runs right into this. And there's a park for the kids to play at right in front of it. Really nice. You get the whole woodsy experience. 
They are nice. They look big too. They do. I'll have to look them up online and see what the size of them are. They have so much at this park. We are blessed to be so close. Here near the marina you have what looks like a community center and behind it is the children's playground area. Looks like there's a volleyball net back in over there as well. And this is right in front of some of the cabins that you can rent. Walking distance. Yes, and walking distance. Lots of buildings. I don't know what they do with them now, but it's a nice playground for the kids. Over here they have a campground area. I'm not sure how big it is. It's a gift shop. Cute. We can camp down in the gift shop. We can camp down. Definitely in the woods and you can see there's a bike path that runs all throughout the park. First spot is where your campground host is. And then you have to drive in a little ways to see where the spots are. Oh, take this bike path in It is all in here. Yes, I definitely want to bring our bikes. Oh, we have a couple of rangers. This is where the park rangers oh, live. They got, they got it good, don't they? I wouldn't mind being a park ranger here. And here it looks like we're coming into the campground area now. There's a spot so you can look at it. Looks like they got water, sewer, electric. Concrete pads, fire pits, and paved lots. Very nice. I wonder if it's open year round. And what their rates are. We'll have to find out. Definitely have little homework. Well, these are really nice though. And there's quite a few of them, looks mm -hmm. like. Got a little bathhouse. There's more people in here than I thought would be. There's a lot of empty spots too. Some of them are pretty small. You have these little campers. Picnic tables and fire pits. Yeah, it's fully furnished. It's got heavy in the middle. There's a playground area in the middle for the kiddos. We're starting to run into more camping here. A lot more spots than I thought there would be. Yeah, it's pretty big. Sorry for all the bounce in here. Yeah, we got some pretty gnarly speed bumps in here. I do cool. believe it's a nice water view down there. Yeah. So far, I see we're on number 36, so many spots. And I think there's more than one campground area. There's a path down to the water right there. This would be an incredible place to camp out. Especially if you had a group of people and you wanted to meet up and do like a retreat. 
so nice and quiet. They do have little pads that are off the site. Do you think that's so you could set up a little picnic table down there? or Either a table, a little pavilion, or... They definitely have a few speed bumps. Yeah, and they're pretty high. I don't know why. People pulling campers in here, they don't like all that. People filming videos don't like it either. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Making my camera go boo boo. Well, there's a little pad down in there. He's got like a little uh... eating area. Yeah. That's nice, and you can have a nice water view while you're eating. Yeah, that's nice. And over to the left is a bathhouse. Yeah, this is a very nice campground. I'd swing the camera that way, but there's not enough room in this Jeep for that. <laughs> Forty-eight spots. And there's a second bathhouse up there. Mm -hmm. I think that's the end of the spots. I saw forty-eight. Forty-eight, and I can see a little bike trail over to the right. So it looks like the campground had a total of 50 spots as we are heading out now past the ranger's residence. So that's a pretty good size for a park. Most of them don't have that many. Hey, Madam Mayor, where are we at today? Today we're at Tim Ford State Park, going all through it. It's a big park and it's near our house, so we're lucky enough to get to use it. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, they got cabins, they got a marina, they have a golf course even. They have a campground. They have campgrounds. Lots of walking trails. And biking trails. A visitor center that's right behind us. The visitor center, which we're going to check out. A gift shop. Gift shop. Parking lot. <laughs> and a nature center. Very neat. Let's go check these things out. We might have missed a few things. I don't know. That's a lot. Have. There's a lot going on here. Oh, that's a cute way to display Tootsie Pops. It is. Ooh, ice cream too. I think I'm over my Tootsie Pop addiction. <laughs> Since Jeremy gave me all those Tootsie Rolls. You got over I, it? I ate so many of them. I think he cured me. Yeah, they even have marshmallow sticks. They got everything you need for s'mores. Who do you think this could be? I don't know. Maybe a, a mole? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have moles, do we? No. You never know. And they have pretty much everything you could need while you're out and about. Yeah. And if you forgot that critical camping cord, you got one right here. And other neat things, too. Look at these little art rocks. You bees. How cute. I love that. That's neat. I like it. Even these little mugs, the camping cups, they have all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they're thick too. That's a cute mug. I 
I found the undefeated hide and seek champion, <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> hide he and is. seek, he wins, huh? He's finally been found. <laughs> you know, if Bigfoot really exists, and I'm not saying he does or doesn't, but if he did, wouldn't we have had one of them like all dissected up by now and studied and all the science and all that? And somebody would somebody would have done that, right? With all the cameras and everything. Yeah, it would be more... They're hiding in plain sight a little too well, is what I think. Here's my shirt. There's a book we might need oh. to learn the Tennessee alphabet. Oh, is it different than the regular alphabet? It must be. You'll have to get the book to find out. You do, there's some neat stuff in here. You might need this for when you're wandering around. Yeah, you might get lost. You have to find your way. I can see what's happening now. Oh, can you see it? I see, <laughs> I see it. I see everyone. Oh boy. I see you. I think they see your eyeball. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> Some neat stuff over here. And mm -hmm. little games. But when you're camping. They've got camping gear here too. Bracelets. Hey, they got foozies. Do you need some foozies? Serious socks for not so serious people. <laughs> Might need some. Maybe. A watch book, a Dutch oven cookie. I like that raccoon. He's yeah, big. the raccoon's cool. Whack and crack geos. Let's see the rest of this place here. It's a trail whistle instead of a train whistle. Oh. <laughs> Think I didn't know you any less? I don't know. Probably not. Looks like the office area. Stickers. Ooh, fire pokers. I like these patches they have. Stickers. I like and the animals on top, like the armadillo. And mini stickers.
And you have your new hiking shoes on today, don't you? I do, and I love them. They look very nice. They are comfortable. I'm Good ready. deal. You ready to hike? Oh, look. This one is really cool. Awesome. You know what? A state park wouldn't be complete without a couple of EV hookups. <laughs> they just have everything here. Everything. Looks like they have a nature center over here. You want to check this out? See what this is about? Definitely. Not many people here today. I think the cold has run people off. But I like the cold. I think the weather is perfect. Flora and fungi. All different plants and animals. Looks like they're all decorated for Halloween. For fall, y'all. Native plant garden information. Maybe. Oh, yeah. You see something in there? An owl? Oh, yeah, there's an owl in there. He's like, I'm sitting here the whole time. How cute. I don't think I've ever seen one so small. That is a small one. He's got such big eyes. <laughs> and he can blink one eye at a time. He can blink one eye and the other eye is open. <laughs> so cute. That's neat. Well, we're here on a Thursday, and guess what? They're closed. <laughs> the Nature Center is closed on Thursdays. Wednesdays and Thursdays. Just wow. our luck. So we'll have to catch that next time. Definitely have to come back. Let's see what's over here in this cage. And all these are the native plants. And they have a little <laughs> library. Oh, yeah. Maybe you could check out a book later. There is something in there. Looks like a hawk. Oh, it's a big one. Red tailed hawk. He's a big one. Oh, he's camera shy. Hey, He's buddy. You're pretty. You're pretty. <laughs> I don't know if he likes us being this close. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he doesn't know what it is you're holding over there. So we're going to walk one of these trails. We're not going to walk the whole thing today. We have been here before and we've walked it. But there's just a couple of points that we would like to show in the video. We just kind of want to show what the trail looks like. Pay attention because there's lots of roots. There are lots of roots so you got to watch where you're walking. This is a perfect day to be walking the trail. It is. Because it's nice and cool. The last time it was a a little warmer than I would have liked. Not terrible. And it's shaded. Mostly shaded, if not all shaded. And it is pretty ruddy. And you have a view of the water most of this trail to your left. Yep, and there are two of these bridges, but we wanted to, one of them's really close, so we wanted to walk down to it and show you the bridge. There's two of these bridges on this trail. Oh, it looks like the sign got knocked down. There's a sign, this sign, somebody knocked it down. Look, it said uh, six people maximum on the bridge is what it says. But we'll walk across here and we'll walk back. 
It's a suspension bridge, so it moves around. <laughs> What do you think of this bridge? It's nice, but it's pretty long. <laughs> You're walking kind of timid there. <laughs> well, yeah. I remember last time we were out here, Brett got to the middle and started jumping on it like a two-year-old. You mean like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it is pretty bouncy. It is bouncy, yeah. So. But it's pretty. It's beautiful. And if you walk another mile, I think there's another one of these bridges. But yeah. it's just like this one. And look at that view back in there. Yeah, and there's a couple of lookouts on this trail where you can look out onto the water. They're gorgeous. I can't remember how far that one lookout was. If it's right on the other side over here. Yeah, it's about a third of the way. Did you want to walk over there? We should. Okay. I don't think it's too far. All right. Looks like we made it. <laughs> Let's hope the bridge stays up so we don't have to walk down through the gully to get back. Get all your cardio in. The nice thing about this trail is it gives you a little bit of challenge, but it's still nicely shaded. Yep. I mean, it's up and downhill. Right now we're traversing the hill. Last time we were here, we saw a deer on the trail. Yeah. And people. <laughs> there were people on the trail. And the trails are well marked here. Um, we're on the red trail. They got them color coded green, they got blue, they got white. Um, ooh, I tripped on a root. See there? Like see, the see how they're marked? Yeah, you gotta watch the camera and watch your footing. And here's how some of them are marked with these little little plates. Which is nice. Yeah, it is nice. I can tell you right now these hiking shoes make a huge difference. Do they? They do. I might have to get me some. You absolutely I'm... need to because it gives you some real grip. My shoes are starting to split apart anyway. You can see it right there. So we need to get you some of these. Yep. I tried to get you some at the end of last month, but you said, nope, don't need them. Yeah, I might need them now though. Maybe a Christmas present. Oh, I got a birthday coming up. Maybe a birthday present. My birthday's on the 24th of October. I'm Scorpio. At least I used to be. I haven't looked at the dates. Sometimes the dates get moved around and you can actually change signs. Really? <laughs> I think so. I never heard of that. I don't know. Last I checked, you're definitely still a Scorpio. Okay. I wouldn't want to be changing up.
I got a reputation to protect. What's that? That you sting? That I sting people. <laughs> Here's the first lookout. Yeah. And this is one of the better lookouts anyway, so. I wanted to be able to show them this. Yeah. It's a little steep right here, so we're having to kind of go slow. I can go much faster in these shoes compared to my sneakers from the last time we were here. Yeah. This is great. You don't realize the difference some things make sometimes. In case some of the viewers are wondering, well, how old are you, Brett, on the 24th? I'll be 50. Eight, I believe. I say I believe because I don't really keep count, so I always have to go back and do the math. I was born in 66. So whatever that comes out to be, I think that's 58. Anyway. Ooh, almost slipped. Well, I did slip, but <laughs> almost lost my balance completely. We are definitely getting you a pair of these shoes. <laughs> yeah, you I can't believe. You didn't slip at all, did you? No, and I was able to keep up much faster because of that. Last time we came, yeah. I'm way back because I have to be very cautious. I was sliding a lot. Yeah, I'm with my sliding sneakers. a lot in these too. So I'm able to keep up a lot better. They've got a lot of nice grip. They do. Show that, that again. Yeah. So, definitely getting you a pair. I do need to retie these ones because they are coming undone. So here's one of the lookouts. Oh, sorry. I don't want to slide into you and knock you in the water like a domino. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if I can get down here without sliding off. That's the part that goes underneath the bridge we just went to. And then here's the main body of the lake. Very pretty, there's no one, like no one out. The bottom is clear, look at that. It's beautiful and peaceful. Oh, there's one boater. I'm going across there. It's pretty nice out here, isn't it? Pretty gorgeous. There's no ridiculousness, foolishness stuff going on here. It's just peaceful and pleasant and a cup of coffee is the only thing that would make it better. <laughs> yep. Out here with God and all the beauty he created. That's correct. Love it. He made you great beauty. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so here's a trail we decided to pick up and check out. And it's got a storybook. Like if you have kids of reading age and you're bringing them out to the park for a walk and they could take turns reading these little placards, but it's a storybook and every so many feet they got another story. I can see five of them lined up right here and we already passed two or three of them. Yeah, they're all different pages out of a book. Yeah, and it's just part of a story. What a special memory that would be for a child to think back of later on in life about walking this trail with their mom and or dad reading this book. Yeah, and they go on here for, as far as I can see, they go around the curve. I can now see about eight or ten of these little placards here. I've wow. never seen that before on a trail. No, what a neat idea. Yeah. Man, we definitely need more of this in the country, in the whole country, I'm saying. Okay, some more. 
And I guess the story continues. This one's starting to pop out, so they need to come in. I think they should put some glass over that or something. But wood neat. Now you can see them. If I zoom in here, you can see all the little. See all the little. You can see about a dozen of them here. It's crazy. That's neat. I'm just imagining right now how cool that would have been to be walking through here with my son. You probably remember that, wouldn't you? He I, certainly would. Yeah, because I loved when he was little, reading to him every night we read books. So I could see that this would be something we would have done. Yeah, definitely. I think it's neat. So this is pretty neat. I wanted to share this part. So this trail here, the trailhead has a storybook. It's a storybook trail. And it has these little stories. This isn't the first one, but it just tells you about it. And then as you walk down here, the story starts. So as you walk the trail, you stop here at these little storybook markers. And if you got kids, this is great. They could read them to you. And that's the actual book cover. And there's the actual book cover there. So as you go through, we saw some of these already. It's about a hawk and an owl, and they're talking back and forth. But how neat, because they have a hawk and an owl at, at, the, nature at the nature center. And you're walking amongst their natural environment. So how neat is that tying it all together? Yep, and then creating that special memory. Yeah, I think that's really cool. I've never seen this anywhere, anywhere that I've been. And I'm sure they have them, but I've never seen them. No, I haven't either. I think it's really cool. Really cool idea. Good job.